happy 4th of July, agents. So today on the Daily Gnosis, Phil in the early stream went ahead and played The Last of Us 2. It was supposed to be the final stream of this game. Phil was supposed to wrap it up. Well, he didn't. He has about an hour to go left in this game, so he will put it on the shelf for a couple days, probably until Monday when he'll wrap it up and go ahead and have a Q&A Boomer segment to finish out that stream because Phil likes easy money where he doesn't have to struggle playing video games during. Speaking of struggling for money, tonight he really, really struggled during Pokemon and he had to wait until the very last minute to hold out until somebody finally answered the whale call. Thank you, Planet Jeff. At least that's who the usual suspect is. He has money to throw away still. He probably doesn't want to go ahead and catch the heat. Otherwise, on the news front, DSP, I mean, not DSP, got a hold of another faction and then quickly got kicked out once again because, you know, Nigel showed up. And that is funny as fuck because not DSP can't complain about it. At least DSP can't mention it. So he's fucked either way. It is hilarious because, well, we're going to have to go ahead and do an entire next chapter of a primer on it. Because I think a lot of people are confused about what's going on with WWE champions. Why Phil goes ahead and tries to hide his gotcha game addiction, which he's had for many years. And we'll go ahead and peek into... Not Phil's stint during WWE Champions in the wake of destruction that his mere presence has caused in the game. Otherwise, yeah, I hope you had a great 4th of July for those of you who celebrated. The Daily Gnosis has been amazing. I hope you've enjoyed it. Stay safe, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.